I'm going to show you how to make this, and it's really easy to do. But it started with a project that looked like this, which was not exactly my original creation. I want to show you where I got it. Here is an example program in a program called p5.play, which is connected in some way to GameLab. I'm not sure. I think maybe code.org used this in the creation of their document. But anyway, here's their example code. It's really cool. And I was trying to recreate this to learn in Game Lab, and that's when I came up with that other thing. So I'll show you this version. I want to give full credit. I'll link it in the text. Um, there are a few things that are the same as Game Lab. You've got your draw loop right here, uh, and a few things that are different. Like there's a setup function up here. We don't we don't do that. So uh, that'll be in the description. Now let let me show you my code. So everything this time is in the draw loop. If the mouse went down, create a sprite and give its x and y position the mouse's x and y position. And here's where you control its size, but I've just left those at 50. Then I've set its velocity x and velocity y to a random value, rearranging its scale, which is something that's different from the example. Uh, and I made it between 0.15 and 2. And then I gave it a random color with this RGB value right there. All right, so it's a pretty simple code. Uh, and when you run it, you get this. It doesn't run quite as smoothly as the example in p5.play, but it, it works. Uh, now to make what I showed you at the beginning, you just have to do one little edit, which is to take this mouse went down out and change it to a mouse down. When you do, you get this cool thing. Might play around with making the background change colors every time too, but it's already just, really fun. Okay, that's a short one.